Hello. Hey. Um, what's up? I haven't updated this, <laughs> this thing in forever. Uh, let me take my foot off my desk so I don't shake it. Um, yeah, so I think I last updated seven or eight months on testosterone. It's close to two years now. I'm not wearing a watch. It is two, it is two years. I I made two years on testosterone, I think, um, August 15th? August 5th? August 15th? Something with a five. I don't know. Um, but I made two years on testosterone. I also do not go by the same name. I don't know if... I don't remember any of the videos that I posted, like, two years ago. So... When I first started testosterone, I was going through a very tough time in my life. I was having a lot of body image issues. I was having a lot of identity issues. And so now, I have settled into my own... For, for the most part, things are still... Whatever. Um, I will introduce myself again. My name is Christopher Matthew. I don't know what direction it's going to look like. Um, but yeah, and I'll give a brief brief explanation of why I have that name now. Um, so originally when I first came out as trans, I decided to go by the name Alex. It was a name that I went by um, ever since I was a kid because it's very close to my dead name. And I figured, you know, talking to kids in my neighborhood, if I went by Alex, they wouldn't question me. They wouldn't, they wouldn't go and, um, you know, be like, why do you go by that when your name is this? And, you know, it was just, it was so easy to go by. Um, so I went by that name for the longest time. And then when I got into co college, I continued to go by that name. Um, it wasn't until I stopped being friends with somebody that, mm -hmm. Uh, it was a very toxic friendship. I'm not going to go into it. But um, it wasn't until that person and I stopped talking that I decided I don't want to be associated with this name anymore. This name has a lot of negative connotations behind it. It has a lot of negative memories. It has a lot of negative feelings. I want to I wanna be someone new. I want to be someone who I feel is me. Uh, so I tried going with a whole bunch of different names. I tried finding a whole bunch of stuff that would fit. I tried going by Oliver for a while, uh, if you can't tell from the first video. It, it stuck for maybe a couple months, barely anything. But, um, yeah, so that's not what I go by anymore. Um, I go by Christopher, or Chris, whatever the heck people want to call me. It's fine. I am over two years on testosterone. I have taken Androgel, the testosterone gel, for the entirety of the two years due to my heart condition. If you want to know more about it. I think I have another video kind of explaining it. I can also go into more detail in another video if anybody wants to know. Um, you know, kind of do research and stuff like that. As far as where I am in my life, I there's a lot of things that are about to change. Um, I'm talking to both my cardiologist and my endocrinologist about top surgery. The main issue for anybody out here which I'm just going to say it now. If you have a heart condition similar to mine, which I guess is considered a severe heart condition, um, if you want top surgery and your doctor is concerned about your health or anything like that, with me, any surgery I have, no matter how minor it may seem to the average person, like top surgery or even like getting your tonsils out or your appendix, or which those are all, I guess, major. But, um... Everything is a major surgery to me because of my heart. So my cardiologist wants to make absolute sure. My roommate's home. Uh, <laughs> my cardiologist wants to make absolute sure that um, what I'm doing is safe and okay. And won't hurt me in any way. And he is completely okay with it he is working with my endocrinologist and finding someone in a nearby area that can work with anesthesiologists that will help me um and you know just in general do the best that they possibly can for me to ensure that what i you know have done is done the right way 
and the best way for me, which is great. Um, if you don't have a doctor like that, I recommend finding one. I, even though I live in the south of the United States, I have an amazing cardiologist. Um, if you live in Louisiana, Dr. Young in Oxner, main campus, um, cardiology, he deals with pediatric and he deals with adult congenital. He's an amazing man. Uh, both him and my pediatric cardiologist, Dr. White, both of them are amazing. Both of them are wonderful people that do everything they can to make sure that I am 100% healthy and that I am taking the right steps in what I'm doing. But um, as far as everything else goes, most stuff is the same. Um, I think I'm just going to leave it here with this video as a sort of catch up where I am, what plans are, all that stuff. I'll go into more detail <laughs> later in another one just, you know, to separate them. But other than that, that is where I am and that is that's it. I don't feel like editing this. I think I'm just going to post it right away. So cool. Also, I'm going to have this problem of staring in another direction for a long time. It's fine. It's fine, right? You guys are fine with it. Whatever.